Hey everybody, how we doing this weekend? Uh, today we have a review on an album that I've been kind of looking forward to for a while now. The new album by Suffocation of The Dark Light. Let me start by saying I'm not a huge Suffocation fan, like, by any means. At least I wasn't when I sat down and listened to this album. Uh... I know Suffocation is one of the forefathers of death metal and like a veteran of the genre, but the only album I've really ever sat down and listened to them, but listened to two by them, was their first one, Effigy of the Forgotten, which I honestly don't really like all that much. I don't think it's bad by any means. I just it doesn't do anything for me. So I was kind of interested to hear how far they'd come. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Suffocation, as I said, is a pioneer of the the more fast, brutal, technical type of death metal, uh, similar to Cryptopsy, Gore Guts, uh, to a lesser extent, I guess, Arch Spire, the Faceless, like that real, like deep and dirty kind of death metal with like super complex songwriting, really good stuff. And I usually like that, but for some reason, Suffocation has never really done it for me. So I picked this out of curiosity. And like I said, I've only ever really listened to their first album, which I didn't think was that great. But I was like, hey, you know, let's see how far they've come. And honestly, I'm pretty surprised. Uh, the music is, is it's, it's your standard tech death. I mean, if you're expecting something mind-blowing and proggy and weird like Pink Floyd mixed with Cannibal Corpse, that's not what you're going to get. But uh, it's very standard, but very well executed, which I think is honestly better than doing something new sometimes like suffocation knows what they're good at and they stick to that and they they hammered that like like a blacksmith at an anvil just hammering that edge into perfection the guitar riffs are great and a lot of them are really memorable and stick in your head and the rhythm work is just amazingly done very very catchy rhythms which is weird because for me normally death metal doesn't really catch my interest rhythmically it's more the guitar work but the drums and bass on this are just really really well executed and Frank Mullen their vocalist his vocals like that deep caveman kind of vocal just kind of ties it all together and makes it this really wonderfully delicious sort of death metal and it just complements the whole thing together well it's like lasagna you got the the bass and drums on the bottom the cheese which is the which is the nice, awesome guitar riffs, and then on top you got the sauce and the the vocals, and I just came to the realization I'm not 100% sure how lasagna works, but, you know, hey, we'll go with that analogy for now. Uh, the only thing that I'm kind of weirded on, not weirded, that's the wrong word, I, I'm not sure how I feel, I, I think I like them, is the lyrics. I always try to sit down for about a week and listen to the album through and read the lyrics. Uh, Suffocation's always had horror-themed lyrics, which is something I'm all about, because for those of you that don't know, I am an aspiring horror fantasy writer, so got that going for me. Uh, these uh, these lyrics are very Lovecraftian and just, just kind of hard for me to wrap my head around, but that's also because I've am been sick this week, so I might not have read them quite as closely as I should have. Whoops. But... For example, the first song, Clarity Through Deprivation, seems to be about a song about killing yourself to pursue some sort of spiritual truth, and that, I I think, is really, really twisted and sick, but in a fun way. Uh, and then, like, something I got a little bit more out of is the song, Some Things Best Be Left Alone, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, Some Things Should Be Left Alone. Uh... That was very Lovecraftian to me, and I, I think all the lyrics to this album are kind of Lovecraft, which I thought was pretty cool. I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's just my way of interpreting, so I, I thought I give the lyrics a good mark. I like horror lyrics. And they're not like shock horror like Cannibal Corpse are. These are more like almost eldritch horror, which is kind of cool. So it's got that going for it. Uh, the album work, much like the lyrics, I like the album work. It's this dude being pulled apart by this alien light and it's it looks it just looks really really wicked and really cool it's kind of out of the ordinary for suffocation because their their album art is very usually very earthy and it doesn't have kind of like this loose space theme like if you've ever seen the if uh you look up the cover to one of their other albums it's very dark and like foreboding but on like an earthy kind of plane this is their first album where they've had sort of a space theme that also carries that through. So I thought that was kind of cool. And again, it's I think the love 
Lovecraft theme kind of carries through, even whether on purpose or not. That's just how I, I think of Lovecraft when I see something like this, but, uh, you know, that's just how I feel. And I, I guess the only thing I have to say overall is, as someone who wasn't a really huge fan of this band before, this album kind of changed my mind. I was like, well, hmm, might as well go back and see if the rest of their stuff's gotten better over time. And I'll have to go back and listen to FWG of the Forgotten a few times. Maybe since I've gotten older and more mature, I can sit down and enjoy it for what it is. Uh, like I said, I really enjoyed the guitar work, the rhythms, the the vocals. It, it all just comes together in a really nice way. It makes a really, really great death metal lasagna. And I, it's a good album. If you like technical, brutal death metal, you're going to like this. I mean, that's the, you know, the, it ain't broke, don't fix it, kind of. Looks like they just put some spit and polish on it, that's all. If you're not a death metal fan, this isn't going to change your mind by any means. It's not that much breaking the mold. Uh, if you're interested in something super heavy and you've never listened to Suffocation, I would give this a listen. Um, and that is about all I have to say, guys. Have yourselves a great rest of the week, and I hope you look into this album, and I hope you like it. If you don't, I apologize for leading you astray. Have a great night.